Hello everybody, this is Strange Gamer back to kick off round 3 for Group E matches. And in these matchups, we will see Team North America going up against Lanzu. Dark Ash Star taking on Primal Cartman. And Aladar taking on Nano Hunter. Without further ado, let's get on with the first matchup. Alrighty then, in this matchup we'll see Team North America taking on Lanzu. Up first for Team North America, we have an Inosaurus. Um, not much to say here, but the stack, the damage stacking abilities of Lightning Axe and Un An Angera Dive could come in handy. In the blue corner for Lanzu, we have a, well, Lanzusaurus, of course. Um, not much to say here, but beware of that super impact, as it does pack a punch. Uh, it could be an important match, this could be, since Team North America are pointless so far, but Lanzu did get a bonus point win last time out. Oh god. <coughs> Alright, that's a good start from Team North America, but not too much damage dealt. And the super impact has been triggered. Lanzu saw us though, striking back with an egg attack. A win here for Lanzu will put them joint top. Well, for the time being. A bonus point win will put them top. For the time being. <laughs> Anyangira coming in for Anyangira dive. The Anyosaurus getting off ahead. But no lightning axe. And the Rock Rock type from Lanzusaurus has been triggered, so a super impact will kill the Ainosaurus. But doesn't go for it. And instead, Ainosaurus gets off another head. But still no lightning axe. That's interesting. Okay, here comes the super impact. And this will almost certainly kill the Ainiosaurus. So despite the good effort from Team North America, Lanzu, just like last time, will be going 1-0 up. Boom. Yeah, it is kind of like the last match where the where you have to face the Decentraurus, and Decentraurus got Lanzusaurus' HP down in the red, but then Lanzusaurus got off one super impact and instantly killed it. Okay, up next for Team North America, we have an Ankylosaurus. Watch out for that rock roller though, it could roll Lanzu right out of the match. But, this Ankylosaurus will be in a tight disadvantage against the Lanzusaurus and against Lanzu's second dinosaur. Oh, that's my friend, is it tough? Ooh, a hit coming from Lanzusaurus though, not what the Ankylosaurus wants. Lots of damage dealt and Team North America having to play catch up. Okay, that not the worst outcome for Team North America there, but a tie will finish off Lanzusaurus. Okay, as for Lanzu's second I know we have an Edmontosaurus. Which will also have the type advantage over that Ankylosaurus. But it doesn't pack as much punch as the Lanzusaurus did, so. That might be a saving grace for Team North America, you never know. You know what's surprising me in this tournament? How many how many grass dinosaurs there are actually? Because in my last one tournament there was hardly any grass dinosaurs. But this time there's definitely a lot more variety. I I suppose because there's more more people and more dinosaurs in it, so I suppose the variety then increases, which is awesome to see. Anyway, the Ankylosaur is getting off a hit and a galley rush. Ooh, Ankylosaur is getting off another hit. Team North America pulling it back, but yeah, you can definitely see that type advantage that Edmontosaurus has there. Very little damage dealt. Ooh. 
And I, actually, I think the tie did more damage. Ooh, the Ankylosaurus, though, is slowly chipping away at Edmont the Saurus, though. And has given Team North America a slight lead. So despite being at a tight disadvantage, this Ankylosaurus has managed to pull it back for Team North America. And has in fact taken out the Edmontosaurus with a rock roller. Boosh. Smash. Blip. And that's curtains for Edmontosaurus. And Al Lanzu's down to their third dino, that dino being the Super Titanosaurus. Okay, Awaker Mode on free. Could, could be the one that wins it for Lanzu here, but Team North America does still have their ace in the hole left to use. Okay. Crucial hit from Lanzu there. Had to take out the Ankylosaurus quick before it got off too much hit damage. Okay, as for Team North America's third and final dino, we have Brontokins. Which has been quite disappointing in this tournament. We haven't we haven't really seen what it can do. And hopefully for Lanzu's sake, we won't see what it can do. <laughs> Oh, that's not good. Who gets the ocean? Oh, but come on! Like, I, this thing has 300 technique, and brought the kings out a thousand. How does bloody Titanosaurus get off ocean panic? Well, regardless of how it happened, that could be a big break for Lanzu. Alright, that's once. Okay, so Lanzu will be going for Skizzers. But Brontokins will not be. That's twice. One more and he'll be awakening time. Ooh, Brontokins getting off a hit. But, as I said, it's awakening time. And this could be it for Brontokins and Team North America. Oh, oh, it's a tie, but no ocean panic from either of our combatants. Oh, that's game over. That's game over for Team North America. And a big win for Lanzu, which will put him joint top, well, for the time being. Hang on. Yeah, no. No losing bonus point for Team North America, since Titanosaurus' health was higher than half. Was above half, I should say. A good win for Lanzu there, but it was a back and forth match. Team North America coming back into it, but Lanzu just pulling away in the end there. And I feel like that ocean panic was definitely the turning point. Right, time to update the table and we'll move on to our next matchup. Alrighty then, in this matchup we see Dark Ash Star taking on Primal Carmen. A win for Dark Ash Star will almost guarantee their place in the last 32. As for Dark Ash Star's first dino, we have an Alberta Ceratops. This thing definitely packs a punch with that Thunder Driver. And Plasma Anchor could, and well, Counter Blitz could always be a problematic move. And it will have the type advantage against Cartman's first dino. That dino being the Spinosaurus. Although this Spinosaurus itself still packs a punch. So I wouldn't underestimate it. But yeah, as I said, a win for Dark Ash Star will pretty much guarantee their place in the last 32. A win for Cartman will will put will close the gap on herself and the top. A bonus point win will put her at level. Ooh, a good start for Cartman there, and Aqua Whip right off the bat. I mean, it's not going to do too much damage, but it will do damage. Ooh, a counter blitz being triggered right away. That could be a very problematic move for Cartman. But the Alberta Ceratops does in fact get the hit anyway, so 
counter blitz was not needed. Ooh, a crit coming from Alberta Ceratops. And despite the good start, Dark Ash Star is well on top now in this match. But a Futaba Cannon could change all that. <laughs> a decent amount of damage dealt, even with a tight disadvantage. But. Alberta Ceratops still has the slight lead. Ooh, but has he just lost the lead? An Aqua Whip coming from the Spino. One more hit should kill Alberta Ceratops, but one more hit will also kill the Spino. And it's the Alberta Ceratops that will be giving Dark Ash Star a 1 0 lead. Okay, as for Cartman's second Dino, we have an Eocarcaria. I think it's important for Cartman here to kill this Alberta Ceratops quick before it gets off too many hits, because we have seen in previous matches what happens when you don't finish off the Dinos. You end up losing. Oh, is it going to happen again? Is it going to be a case of should have finished off the Alberta Ceratops with Eocarcaria, but ended up finishing it off with a Cryo? Nope, because the Eocarcaria will get off a Blazing Spin. And it did get hit, but it did manage to take out the Alberta Ceratops without it doing too much damage. But Dark Ash Star still has a lead, but it's not a big one. Okay, up next for Ash Star, we have Super Paris. Awaken mode on five. Ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> a move block could be quite a problematic move for Cartman, but Green Impulse could always come in handy and Emerald Garden just to sap away that health. Okie dokie. Paris getting the first hit. Okay, that's once. I mean, it's going to be awake mode on five, so I... we might see it. Ooh, a magma blaster coming from Eocarcaria, though. Oh, lots of damage done and a flare sword to boot, so I don't think we are going to see the awake mode. Oh my god, almost killed it! But the hell, it killed it in one hit! Like, that's not even its crit. Although, I will say that Eocarcaria's crit is very... It's more balanced than most items. But the Eocarcaria gives Cartman a 2-1 lead. Okay, as for, as for Dark Ashtar's final dino, we have the Black T-Rex. The death type. I mean... Not sure what Heat Eruption is going to do with a Poultry 200 technique, but we'll just have to see. Okay, Black t Rex. So Death Fire was off, and, and Cartman goes down to last dino. Ooh, the Eocacaria though, looking very strong against the Black t Rex. Actually, I just thought of something. When I'm reading my rules, if Deathfire resolves and the opponent goes down to last dino, that opposition gets a free hit that beats their crap. But that's kind of unfair on Dark Ash Star, because Deathfire only gets triggered when his health is in the red, so... Like that. So that means that basically you lose, so... Yeah, we'll scrap that. Yeah, we're scrapping that since Black T-Rex is his last dino, so we'll scrap that rule. Ooh, the Black T-Rex getting off a hit and a light recovery. Oh, it still didn't kill your Carcaria. I'm quite surprised, actually. Still a chance for Cartman to secure the bonus point. But it will not be a bonus point for Cartman. As the Eocarcaria goes down, 
and Cartman is reduced to their third dino, that dino being the crowd of Asaurus. Oh, we got a bit of Seth here. Okay, not much to say here because they're all secret moves. <laughs> oh, this has definitely been an interesting match. Can Dark Ashtar come back? Or can Primal Cartman finish the job? I think the answer to that is Primal Cartman finishing the job. And the Black T-Rex goes down. And a, probably a deserved win for Cartman there. Definitely the Yokakiria did most of the work, but no, nonetheless, a win for Cartman, which did not, which denies Dark Ash Star there the chance to qualify from the group. Well, for now, because well, if he wins the next match, he'll he almost he'll definitely go through. Right, I'll update the table and we'll move on to our final match of this video. Alrighty then, in this matchup, we see Aladar going up against Nano Hunter Five Thousand, and at first for Aladar, we have a Decentral Rose. Um, I put up a fight last time against Lanzusaurus, and we definitely saw what it can do. Um, I don't know who's going to win. I think Aladar might w should edge this matchup, but in the blue corner for Nano Hunter, we have Simo Tyrannus. The Siamese Tyrant. Um, it did very well against Cartman in the first, in the second matchup. Bam, 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 bam. I suspect it might pull it weight also in this matchup as well. Um, a win for Aladar will take them top, but a bonus point win for Nano Hunter will also put them joint top. So it's plenty to play for here, as Group E has definitely opened up after the first two matches from this video. Okay, yeah, Tai definitely suits Simon Tyrannus more, as it's charge type, so it does more damage. An alpha dice coming in. Oh, it's a six. Lots of damage dealt to the Decentralurus. Oh my god, it was killed it! But yeah, I didn't think alpha dice was that good. Well, Decentralurus lasted two seconds, didn't it? I mean, even if this is a one, it's going to be lethal. And it's a four. Two alpha dice are enough to give Nano Hunter a 1-0 lead without the Simon Tyrannus being scared. But up next for Aladar we have the Joker of the team, the Super Opissa Sila Claudia. And we definitely saw this beast can do if it gets off consecutive shockwaves. Okay, the Awaken mode will be on 3. What about Nano Hunter? 3 also. But it's been a strong start from Aladar. No, not Aladar, Nano Hunter, sorry. Oh my god, another hit from Simo Tyrannus. But the Aqua Vortex has been triggered, so that could be just what Aladar needs to help turn this match around. Well, he gets a hit. I'll give him credit for that. But wow, he was definitely see the defense boost there. Very little damage dealt. Ooh, a crit could be could be just what Aladar needs. And it's awakening time for next round. And Shockwave has been activated, so this could def this is definitely the big break I think Aladar needs. Because he will guarantee damage no matter what happens. Okay, click rock. Ooh, it's a tie. Oh, but the Simo Tyrannus getting off a crucial hit and an Alpha Dice. But the Pista Sila Claudia did get off damage as a six. Oh, and he killed it. And a light recovery and Simo Tyrannus has given Nano Hunter an unlikely 2-0 lead. Wow. Aladar, you need to pull yourself together here. But... Thankfully for Aladar's sake, his third dino is an Omega Armor Eocarcaria. And it has Goma's moveset, so you know it will be good. Well, I wouldn't count Aladar yet out, though, uh, out yet, though because this Eocarcaria with Omega Phoenix can turn this match around. But the Simon Tyrannus is looking very strong. Ooh. Oh, here comes Heat Eruption, and Burning Dash will also be triggered.
I feel like that Awaken mode there, where it was a tie instead of a hit for the uh, Pizza Sealer Claudia. I think that is what might cost Aladar this match. I think if Aladar does go on to lose this match, I think we'll look at that point in the match where I feel like that's where he lost it. But, you know, it's not over yet. Oh, here we go, the overpowered Alpha Dice. And it's a four. Okay, the Simo Taran is finally going down. I mean, it's a bit of a waste of burning dash, but Aladar just had to make sure that the Simo Taran has died. And I feel like that's a perfect example of what happens when you don't finish off the first dino. Like this happens. You're in catch up mode. Anyway, up next for Nano Hunter 5000, we have an Ulti Rhinus. A Super Ulti Rhinus. Awaken mode on three. Will it have better luck than the Epista Siva Cordia did? We'll just have to find out, because the Eocark area is definitely looking strong. Ooh, that's a tie, but no heat eruption this time. That's another tie. All the more while, that bar is filling up. But the ulti Rhinus gets off a crit. Um, I don't think this will be lethal, but it will do some damage. Oh, it is lethal. Oh, okay. Well, Nano Hunter got a bonus point win over Aladar, and that will also take him joint top of Group E. What a big result that could be. Right, I'll update the table and we'll end the session. Um, I don't really know how to separate these, to be honest, because it's like they, they all have identical records. I mean, and each one have beaten each other. I mean, Cartman defeated Dark Ashtar and Lanzu. Nano Hunter defeated Aladar and Cartman. And then we have Dark Ashtar, who defeated Nano's Hunter. And, no, no, and Team North America, so. And then we have Lanzu, who also defeat who lost the Primal Cartman, and... Beat Aladar and beat Team Not. Yeah, okay. I think Lanzu should be in fourth. But honestly, I don't. I don't really know how to separate these guys. So I, for now, I'm just gonna put them as joint top. And then we have Aladar in fifth on five points, and Team North America with Zip. And actually, I think Team North America might already be out. I mean, they will need at least a bonus point win to have any chance of qualifying. And their next matchup is against Primal Cartman, and they will also take on Aladar. So yeah, I feel like Team North America is dead and buried. Aladar still has a chance. But wow, look how open that is. I feel like round four could definitely dictate who goes through and who goes home. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed these matches. And stay tuned for next time. We will kick off round three for Group F. And until then, it's a Stranger Gamer signing out.